Hey guys, welcome to another video. I have got things that I've bought over the last few weeks. I've got a few homewares, things to go on holiday with, a few fashion items. I'm gonna start with homewares. This is the thing that out of everything I'm probably most excited about. This brand is called Cote Noir. The box that it comes in, this label on the front is actually stuck on and it even had a uh, like a clear protective film over it. So this company specialise in faux flowers that don't just look real, they just feel like real flowers. The thing that I loved about this most is that these double, not just as like ornamental flowers to have in your home, but these are also scent diffusers. So you know normally you get those reed diffusers for your home where they have like a jar with the scented oil and it's got the reed sticks coming out. And I don't know if anyone is like me, but I buy them and they always smell great initially. And then even though there's quite a lot of oil left, they just, the smell goes. And I don't think you get used to it. I just actually think that those reed, the reed bits, expire or something after a certain amount of time but with these it can't happen you can get different fragrances this one is magnolia and it's in a clear jar and then this one is um i think it was either peony or it may maybe rose and it is lily as well this was the first one that i opened the lily it's it's so weird it's act it really does feel like a flower but the other weird thing is these don't just smell like faux lilies they i opened the box and it smelt like a genuine alive lily in the box is exactly how it smelt it's the weirdest thing when you see it and you know it's fake but you, i from here i can smell it and it smells like the real thing it looks like the real thing in the box you get this little drawstring bag these are basically spray on it's like an oil I don't know if you can see there, but you shake it. Initially, when you have it sort of placed on the side, you can see that there's oil and then, the oil, like the oil's at the bottom and then I guess it's like some sort of liquid at the top. You shake it, it goes cloudy, and then you spray it on. It smells so delicate. I don't even want to light a candle. For the first time ever, I haven't lit a candle today. I've just got this. The next thing that I want to talk about are these, <laughs> which I love. These are a new pair of shoes that are out at the moment. They are from Chanel. You actually helped me get these because I put these on my Instagram story a couple of weeks back now. When it comes to Chanel flats or Chanel shoes in general, some of them are really comfortable, but I also find that the sizing can be really weird. And I had a pair of Chanel flats a couple of years ago that I actually sold at the end of last year. And I sold them because they always pinched a bit. And Chanel, I've never found to be great when it comes to if you have a wider foot. I, like, let me know what your thoughts are on it, whether you found it different. But I tried on this shoe and it's not leather. As you can see there, it's got like a chain mail around the edge and the toe cap is navy blue. These are the most comfortable shoes that I've ever worn. And another reason why I really like them is because I do have a wider foot, I feel that as soon as I put on a flat, my foot destroys the shape of the shoe. I just hate the way, unless it's a trainer, I hate the way my foot just makes the shoe overly wide. I styled them there just with this little silver Diorama wallet, but I really like the combination of the silver together just with, with white. And even though this is silver as well, you can see it's a different tone, but it still kind of works. So they are out at the moment. And at the same time, I got them in the black as well. I wouldn't normally do that. That's really extravagant, but I did it because honestly, it was the first shoe I tried on that was a flat that felt comfortable and actually looked good on. This is the black here, as you can see, same sort of chain mail thing going on. I don't even know what that's made out of. It's not leather, it's like a plasticky thing. The great news is, normally, whenever you ask me for the Chanel style number, I don't have it because I tend to buy everything at Harrods because of the points. And for some reason, they always, Harrods, whenever they give you the product, they remove all of the Chanel serial numbers. So I never normally have it to give you, but with these shoes, they didn't take the label off. So I will put the serial number below for you in case you wanna get that. The next thing I wanna talk to you about is this top that I'm wearing at the moment. It's off the shoulder. It is made from a sort of woven, I wanna say knitted. It's not really, really thick, but it is like a knitted sort of quite thick material. I particularly like the sleeves on it. So the sleeves have got this slit that goes up by the side and then it is sort of like that. But I love the style of it. It's sort of somewhere between a sweater and a blouse you know it's like a sweater sort of material and composition but it's a little bit smarter than that and also i think this would look amazing if you had it tucked into like some smart high-rise 
trousers or a skirt or something like that. I just got it because I think it's the kind of thing that could work quite well for casual and smart. The only thing I would say with this is I don't know what's going on with the sizing. I got the size small and it's pretty big actually. It's quite baggy around, well, everywhere, but it's quite big across here. Can you see it like sticks out a little bit? So I'm keep having to like, I don't know, just rearrange it. But yeah, it does feel quite big. So you might want to size down a bit. The other things that I wanted to show you were these two necklaces. And they're both quite long line necklaces, which I'll show you in a second. So there is one here. This is like a rose gold. And the key on it reminds me of, you know, the Tiffany necklaces. It really reminds me of that. Can you see how thick the, the key is? I really like the chunky design of this key. It's really pretty. And then the second necklace is a, is far more simple and it's this, and it's one large pearl on quite a thick um, chain. And in fact, the chains on both of these are quite nice. The silver chain is slightly thicker, but even on the rose gold chain, it feels very well made. The pearl necklace, I got it because, let me just put this on. It really sort of reminded me of Dior. You know, the sort of tribal earrings. Um, you could even double this. So, like sometimes I've twisted it twice so that you can have it sort of shorter. This was only 12 pounds. Then the key necklace, which is maybe it's my favorite. I just like the detail on it. So you could, you could remove this key from this necklace and put it on a shorter or whatever chain, but how pretty is that? I just, <laughs> it looks so nice. Okay, the next thing I wanna show you, and this has kind of been quite a big deal for me, it is this. It is from Dermalogica. Let me just explain. I am someone who likes to conceal under my eyes. I like that sort of brighter look under here. But whenever I do it, please raise your hands in the comments if you're the same as me. Whenever I put concealer under my eyes, and it doesn't matter what type of concealer I use, anti-crease is just, it must be a marketing gimmick because they never are anti-crease. But as soon as I start talking or smiling or whatever, you can just see really tiny, fine little lines around your eyes and it drives me mad. And I was trying, I've been trying to think of ways around this for nearly, I reckon, a year now. And I think I found it. This is an ultra smoothing eye serum. But forget the serum part, it's almost like an oil. And it comes in this bottle. Can you see the tiny applicator on the end there? And what I do twice a day, after, like in the evenings when I've washed my face, I've had a shower, I take the nozzle and I put it as close to my lower lash line as possible underneath my eyelashes. And I put like the tiniest, I like drag it along and I put the tiniest line of this oil underneath my eyes and I let it sort of like run down slightly and then I pat it in with like my fingers. I do that in the evening, but I also do it in the morning as well before I put my makeup on. And I give it sort of maybe five minutes to settle in. Okay, the next thing that I want to show you is this. For those of you who've been with me a while, I think you may have noticed that although I do like brands, I also quite like quirky brands that you wouldn't have heard of, like The Flowers, for example, is something I've never heard of. I don't feel like it's very well known. And this is another example of it. So Sinead is actually a subscriber and she sent this to me and she was explaining that she has developed her own line of organic quality candles. It smells like lemon meringue pie, but not in a really sickly sweet way. So her brand is called Boutique. And when she sent me this, I just thought I've got to tell people about it because it's actually really good. But the quality of the candle is really what stood out to me. This is lemongrass, lemon and lavender, and it's called Refresh. So I've used this candle quite a lot. And on the instructions, it does say that whenever you use it, you should burn it for a minimum of two hours each time. I've been doing that. I've used sort of about that much, which has taken quite a long time to do, but there's none of the black soot that you get around the inside at all. It's it's a very clean candle. It doesn't smoke or anything like that, but the smell payoff is really good. <laughs> this next thing just doesn't go with anything, but I wanted to talk about this. This straw hat here, I love the look of it. The reason why I got this is I forget off the top of my head the name of the brand in question, but last summer there was a brand that was very expensive and they made these hats that had different things. Like there was one that had do not disturb written on it. And I was seeing them on social media and I loved the way they looked, but I thought, wow, I'm not gonna be spending that on a straw hat that I'm probably gonna wear for a couple of weeks once a year, if that. It, I just couldn't justify it. And then this year I've noticed a lot of versions of it coming out. This is from ASOS. I got this for when I take my holiday and oh look at that it is just it is so elegant 
on the beach. Do you know what I'm saying? On a yacht, like that would look amazing. You know when you see those pictures of people on the front of a yacht, like lying out like that? I've always wanted to do that. <laughs> I just think that's a really nice hat. It fits really nicely, great for on the beach, but guess what? It didn't cost that much money. So if it gets ruined and if you get sand in it, if it falls in the sea, it sort of doesn't matter. And then the final two things, they are both lipsticks. They are both from Charlotte Tilbury. One of them, I only know it existed because I think about two or maybe three of you alerted me to it and I went and had a look and then ended up buying the other one that I'm gonna show you. Pillow Talk. Who else wears Pillow Talk as a lip pencil? I love that color. Even though I was filming this, and when I was like drawing it on, I was like, you can't even see, it's so subtle. Um, it's such a subtle lip color, but it's really nice. It's just like a really subtle nude color, great for in the day. And then they came out with the lipstick, which thank God is a teeny bit darker than the lip pencil. I'm talking like a fraction. If you like Pillow Talk, the lip pencil, I really do think you're gonna like the lipstick. And I'm glad that they've made it, in my opinion, they've just made it sort of like, 5% darker than the lip pencil because if it was the same color as the lip pencil it personally on my skin tone you wouldn't even see it because it's quite light but it's a beautiful beautiful color it is in the matte revolution so it's matte but it's not drying while I got that lipstick I saw this other one called super Cindy so I'm guessing this is like the Cindy Crawford lipstick I love Cindy Crawford she's always been someone that I've I just She's got that sort of like effortless, sexy look. And I love that sort of 90s makeup, um, you know, where it's all quite simple, but then you've got like quite a, quite like a brownie lip with it. And when I saw this, I was like, yes, I have to get this lip color. Now, if you are new to Charlotte Tilbury or if you've never bought from there before, one of the things that I really like about it is if you buy from on their website, they have got pictures of lots of ladies along the bottom, all different skin tones, all different hair color. And so you can pick people that sort of have got the closest hair, skin and eye color to you so that you can get a sense of what that color is gonna look like on you. And this is one thing that I really love because how many times have I bought a lipstick and I've seen it on someone on a website and then when I get it, it's totally different on me when I put it on my skin tone. So it's really good to get like, to use that as a guide. I got this Super Cindy lipstick. I'm wearing it at the moment. It's been something that I've been wearing absolutely to death for a long time. I really do like Pillow Talk, but Super Cindy is just that little bit darker. It's great for me in the day and it adds a little bit more of a contrast. And it's also in that matte revolution as well. So it's matte without being drying. So that's everything. Let me know what you think. If you end up trying these in particular, the flowers, I would so be interested to know what you think about them. In fact, I'm gonna put a blog post up about them that I've got closer up photos. So if you are interested in having a closer look and a little bit more information before you necessarily commit to buy, I'll link to that article below. Any questions, let me know and I will answer in the comments. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.